So here we go. Once again, 42-yard field goal for Esposito. A chance to send the game into overtime. Third time's usually a charm. Kick is away. Oh, it's at the distance. It went and through. it's good. It it's good. Hey. Unbelievable. And we're going to overtime. Inbound to Kronka. Now to Baker. Top of the key. To Jones. Good win. He's going to try it for it again. And there it is. Two points given to Arthur as time expires. And he shuts out Shohei Tagagi. And he gets the 12 nothing win and a major decision given to Clarion. And they will take an 8-6 to six lead. 6.50 to go. This game has just flown by me. The gift to Bobby Thomas, tries to bounce to the outside and finally gets some positive yards as he's down to the 42-yard line. Thomas with the carry. Clearing has been creeping back in this place just outside the 42-yard line. Kutztown's won five straight opening day games. And Claire looking for their first win against Kutztown since 2008, which was also a comeback win, as I mentioned before, they won the game 26 to 20, and when they were down 20 to nothing. Fiscus to throw, has time. Going deep for John Reed. Oh, and did he make oh, the catch? Yes, he did. Oh, wow. What a great catch by John Reed. I thought that was gonna be a little bit short, but John Reed makes a terrific catch over the shoulder and having to almost scoop it in down to the Kutztown 23 yard line and a first down. Yeah, he had to come back to get that ball. It was a little underthrown but it was perfect because it was right by the defender and Reed getting involved in the passing game now, which is excellent. Pistol formation, Fiscus to Thomas. Thomas has a nice hole, still broke the tackle and he gets a clarion first down. Down to the 13 yard line. What a great run by Bobby Thomas, easily the best run of the game. And they're, fire, they're, they're uh, taking a page out of uh, Kutztown's book. They're passing to run. And Bobby Thomas, the senior right there to make a huge play. Stayed on his feet and kept churning forward. So Clary now not only has a chance to tie the game, but to take the lead. For the first time since they led 7-0 in the first quarter. Thomas still in the backfield with Fiscus. Play fake by Fiscus, rolls to his left, throws for the end zone, it's caught oh. for the touchdown! John Reed! And Clarion comes all the way back, down 25 to nine, and they take the lead again. Unbelievable comeback by the Golden Eagles. Out of the timeout, Hobson misses the free throw, and Clarion will reset their offense again, which has been really clicking here so far. Darius Stevens is back in the game there for Belovich. Miller drives no good. Him and Kromka both went up for the rebound. Kromka had the ball, then it was knocked away. And Kromka is fouled, and the call will be on Arlen Brewer. Kromka very dominant right now on the boards in this game. Really liking what he's doing so far. He's got five rebounds so far. Kyle Mills back into the ball game for Hobson for the Nittany Lions. And Mike Kromka with 13 rebounds. Last game as part of a double-double performance against Duquesne. And another foul here on Penn State. And it's going to be on... Dylan Spear. Just excellent finding him right in the middle of there. And then Darius Stevens not giving up on the play, trying to get that ball in, gets the foul. Be two with the line for Darius Stevens. First one is good. Jeremy Johnson back into the game for Penn State. He will take out Dylan Spear. 16 fouls right now on Penn State Dubois, so one more, and Clarion will be in the single bonus. Second shot is good from Darius Stevens. He goes two of two from the line. Really like that hustle there by Stevens. After he got the shot up, went straight to the hoop. That's what you want to see in your players right there. Austin Hawkins with a nice drive. Bounce pass to Mills. And now Hawkins again, top of the key. Roselli inside with a hook shot, no good. Kromka drives. 
Give to Miller wide open for three, no good. Darius Stevens though with another offensive rebound. Gives to Jones, that's for three, and it's good. Marcus Jones hits his second three-pointer of the game. Give him 10 on the, on the day. Clarion leading by 37. We're live tonight at Tippin Gymnasium. It's Clarion Golden Eagles basketball as the Golden Eagles get set to take on the Seton Hill Griffins. Hi everyone and welcome to this presentation of Clarion Golden Eagles basketball here on CUTV. Matt Catrello, Tyler DiGiacomo here with you and Tyler a huge matchup for this team here tonight as the Golden Eagles find themselves a game and a half behind the final playoff spot in the PSAC West and this Griffins team they face here tonight is also desperate for a win two games behind that final playoff spot in the PSAC West so a lot on the line here tonight. Absolutely, Matt. Clay coming off a big win against UPJ last week, trying to get back in the playoff hunt. Both teams still below 500. Should be a very good matchup today of two very desperate teams for a win. And one of the simplest things that helped Clarion in the win against Seton Hill was free throw shooting. They're able to do that down the stretch. Cameron Grumley had some big shots to lead Clarion to that 82 to 77 win. No doubt, him and the young freshman have done well down the stretch here for Clarion. Absolutely, B.J. Andrews had, had a good three-point play later in the game, made three free throws. Cameron Grumley, most of his stats don't show up in the stat sheet, but he hustles, he dies for the ball. Matt D'Amico off the bench, getting a big lift, hitting two late three-pointers. Uh, so it's Clarion team, very well balanced, and will give you that 40 minutes of hell, pressing them up and down the court tonight. The Golden Eagles will be looking to pound the rock early and get that win here tonight and make it two in a row here in the PSAC West. We'll set it back to a commercial break, and coming up next is the opening tip-off. You're watching Clarion Golden Eagles basketball here on CUTV.